My name is Dr. Clifton Bingham. I'm a rheumatologist in the Johns Hopkins Arthritis Center in the Division of Rheumatology. I'm currently an Associate Professor of Medicine, and I have several roles within the Division of Rheumatology. I'm the Director of the Johns Hopkins Arthritis Center. I also am the Deputy Director for Research for the Division of Rheumatology, where I also co-direct the Rheumatic Diseases Research Core Center, which is our central infrastructure for research across the division. I also serve as the uh, director of the Center for Patient-Centered Outcome Research in Rheumatology, where we're focused on outcomes that matter most to patients. My clinical specialty area is in the care of patients with rheumatoid arthritis and other forms of inflammatory arthritis. I've worked over time in multiple capacities in the research arena. I actually started my career as a, in, in a basic science laboratory working on mice and cells that come from mice to understand the allergic and inflammatory responses that take place. My career then moved and changed, and I began to move into more of a clinical and translational research focus, obtaining samples directly from patients with rheumatoid arthritis, for instance. And then ultimately, I moved into a clinical arena. First, evaluating new therapies for, for the treatment of rheumatic diseases. I was very fortunate to be at the very beginning of the biological era for rheumatoid arthritis. This is when we had all of these new therapies that were coming available, and we were just beginning to learn how to study these drugs and how to conduct clinical trials to treat people with rheumatoid arthritis. Through that work, we realized that we needed to think very hard about the outcomes that we used for these diseases in terms of segregating out a therapy that worked from one that didn't work. And I've been involved for a number of years now in developing outcome measures for rheumatic diseases. How we develop the best outcome measures, how we then validate the use of those things, and ultimately integrate them into clinical trials and then into clinical practice. I continue to be involved in clinical trials of new therapeutic agents. These include things like oral agents that, have, that act much like the biological molecules that we've previously been injecting or infusing and also new therapies like stem cells being given to try to turn down the autoimmune response. I think these are really exciting things and important for us at Hopkins to be offering to our patients the latest therapies that are available that have tremendous promise for really attacking these diseases. I was recruited to join the faculty at Johns Hopkins in 2005. I had previously been at NYU where I was uh, directing a clinical research center called the Seligman Center for Advanced Therapeutics. I was also directing the, the arthritis clinic at the Bellevue Hospital. But when I had the opportunity to come to Hopkins, I was immediately attracted to the incredible depth and breadth of expertise that was available. It really is a, a, an institution that's unlike any other in the country in terms of the experts that are here. In terms of the, fa uh, of the types of research that's being done, and all of it focusing really on the patient at the core.